Stockton. I am an animal keeper at the invertebrate exhibit of the Smithsonian National Zoological Park. And this is our new honeybee colony. The same time with your colony is it allows people to keep bees up close when they're really afraid of them and they run away. They don't really take the time to take a look at them. So having a small and close colony means that they can actually take a look at the whole workings of the hive. And you can see the honey cells and the brood cells and the pollen cells. And you can see where the bees were out doing work. You can look at them dancing and going about their day. So it's a really good way to take a look at bees up close without being afraid of the stung. Honey bees are important because they're important pollinators in most of the fruits and vegetables that we eat. Um, without them, we wouldn't have most of the stuff we love to eat, like bananas and oranges and apples and things like that. Uh, so they're really important to us food-wise, but also they help pollinate our flowers and make places look beautiful. So without them, we would be in a lot of trouble. The queen is the mother of them all. Um, she is, her job is to lay, lay eggs. Normally an active queen is pretty active for about two years, and after that she tends to die off. But most of the workers live maybe uh, 30 to 60 days. People are afraid of bees. They're, they think that they're out to sting them, out to get them and make their lives miserable, when actually they are such a big benefit to all the things that we have, cotton to um, different fruits and vegetables that we eat. So Pollinarium was built to get the message out about pollination and to show everyone how harmless bees actually are.